Hello everyone. So today I wanted to talk a little bit about the five ways on how I save money on craft supplies. As if some of you have been watching my channel for a while, you probably noticed that I'm a huge deal shopper or deal hunter. I love Dollar Tree and I love Dollarama, but I also love crafting and DIYing and shopping. So I try to make my money go a little far further. But I wanted to talk about my number one tip on how I save money. So I always buy off season items. As soon as the seasons come up, especially at Walmart or Michaels, there'll be a huge clearance section. Usually it goes from, it starts at 50% and then it works its way up to 75. And usually the maximum I've ever seen is anywhere between 78 and 80% either at Walmart or Michaels. It'll save you a ton of money and you'll be so happy you have your little stash. The first year, don't worry, because you're just starting your stash. But then for the the following years, you'll have all your little craft goodies and you know that you've paid a lot less for them. Um, some items that are $7.99 at Michaels will end up being only a dollar or even a dollar 25, which makes a huge difference. It all adds up. My number two tip has to be have a specific project in mind. So if you are going out shopping, I tend to have that project in mind so that I'm not just you know that if you've been following my channel, I am attracted to all things stickers. So that my eyes are not caught up on stickers or the shiny things and I need that new latest item that just came out. So if you have a specific project in mind, that will usually help you stay focused and able to buy only the supplies that you need. Now that goes to my third tip, bring a coupon with you or have you have access to coupons on apps now with Michaels especially or even just browsing their website. You can screenshot the coupon you can print it if you don't have wi-fi just screenshot it and save it in your photos album and you just bring it up to the cashier and usually they do have anywhere between 40 to 55 percent off coupons on a regular basis you just kind of have to keep an eye on them or just subscribe to their i'm not being sponsored by michaels at all i just highly recommend having coupons on hand when it comes to buying craft goodies especially if you're buying a 50 dollar item definitely take advantage of a high ticket priced item because if you're going to buy a new pair of scissors that usually would cost you $30, you're only now paying less than $15, especially with taxes and everything. It's definitely worth using your 55% off coupon. So that if you have a specific project in mind, accumulate the items that you need when the coupons are on sale. You can buy spray paint, adhesives, glues, anything really with the coupon in, it will make your budget go a little further. Takes me to number four. As most of you know that I do shop at Dollaram and Dollar Tree, my channel is filled with hauls and DIYs made with product from there. But I also want to let you know, I go browse at Michaels, I kind of look at their sticker aisle, I'll look at their, their charms and papers and stuff like that. And then what I'll do is I'll kind of even, sometimes I'll take pictures just to store it on my phone because you forget, right, what you see. And then I'll take it over to Dollar Tree and Dollarama. Because Dollarama is a no refund policy, I don't want to purchase something that I could have possibly gotten at Michael's with the coupon. So you want to compare your quality, what you need, how much of something that you actually need um, in the future. Sometimes we only need small quantities, especially if we're doing paper crafts and pocket letters. You sometimes don't need endless amounts. You do get tired of some of the things that you use. So it's kind of nice to shake things up and have fresh things and Dollar Tree and Dollar Ram is a perfect solution for that. Um, but I also wanted to say the number one thing I do is go to Michael's, take a look, and then I do my shopping at Dollar Ram. I don't go the opposite way. I don't go to Dollar Ram first purchase things and then go to Michaels and go oh no I could have bought that there with a coupon or you know so I always go to Michaels take a look at the value and then I go Dollarama Dollar Tree and get the things that I the supplies that I need my other tip is don't be afraid to return items if you have purchased something at Michaels and you still have the receipt I was just informed that they have a 90 day return policy I didn't even pay attention to that sometimes you do buy a pack of stickers maybe you haven't used it and it's sitting on your craft storage to be to be put away definitely take advantage of the return policy if you don't see yourself using it. my number five tip is know what you already own that is probably my biggest mistake i will own up to that um it is one of probably my hardest things because i do love shopping for craft supplies but it is very important to have your things organized and to have them stored properly in the right places so that you know your inventory. So take a look once in a while, just go through your things, go shopping in your stash because I think it's so wonderful sometimes to find things you didn't even know were there. Um, and just take a look. Okay, well I have all of this bling in here or I have all of these stickers or paints and I don't need that color. You can even write lists, so have a little inventory list or, or take pictures of your inventory so that when you are out shopping, 
you know exactly what you have on hand and what not to purchase. And that concludes my five tips on how we save money on craft supplies. I hope you enjoyed that. If let me know down below what some of your tips are on how you save money on craft supplies. I'd love to hear how you are saving money out there because anything really helps me too. Uh, we all love to buy goodies for our craft supplies. So it's nice to save that extra money. I appreciate you watching this. I hope that you enjoyed my five tips. And until the next video, take care everyone. Have a wonderful day.